Most of the projects done by Chiming are intentionally ambiguous and left to the interpretation of the audience. Stepping away from conventions and delivering unpredictable, out-of-the-box results, she impacts people while getting them to start conversations, and she's never tired of looking for new ways to do so. After stopping in New York for a residency, Chiming went to China. She'll be there for a little while, giving her hometown a taste of her originality. I love uh, layer, a lot of media in mm -hmm. one project. So definitely they um, have a lot of ways to see the work mm -hmm. and uh, to create more uh, possibility in the, in the work. What do you think is the most out of the box project that you've came up with so far? Um, actually, so uh, right now I will go back to China mm -hmm. to do a, a project. And I think that's uh, the one um, kind of um, interpret um, my um, philosophy, my mm -hmm. own um, taste. It's an immersive performance, and it's in a city, in my hometown. And uh, I will pick up um, audience, and they don't know where to go. And I will take them to my exhibition. They will see the per performance. And uh, there were some some crazy thing happen. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, I I love to challenge um, the audience, and I love to kind of um, exchange the um, the position of being an audience and remove uh, that line yeah, remove, between. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, why is that? Why like why do you? That's basically your aim with a lot of what you do, right? To just blur that line exactly, between yeah, artists yeah, yeah. and. Do you, is there a reason for that, or like, there's is there like a bigger reason for behind? Yeah, because I think um, since I'm a little girl, I always want to challenge. I always want to try. What if I do this, and yeah. how you act, uh -huh. how you re react? Possibilities. Yeah, possibilities, and uh, um, I love to kind of um, create an environment mm -hmm. or choreograph uh, a space for the people. Uh, and to see how they will move in that environment and uh, maybe give me different um, perspective that I didn't uh, expect. Mm -hmm. So I love to kind of um, send the unexpected feeling to the audience and then receive the uh, unexpected uh, experience from the yeah. audience and uh, at the same time and uh, it's uh, always interesting for me to kind of see how the choreography uh, has to be lead by different people, not only by mm -hmm. me. So I love to kind of, um, I love the environment. I really love the environmental, spatial, um, complex, um, emotional feeling. As you're telling me, you're still a resident of San Francisco. You're mm -hmm. here for a residency program mm -hmm. called Body Meet City. Mm -hmm. And it's all about collective walks and <laughs> A bunch of different yeah, things, yeah, right? I don't really know, but tell me, what is it yeah. about? What have you been doing here? What's the impact that's been having on you? So actually, I wasn't in the residency program. Uh -huh. I just, I met the curator in a party mm -hmm. and I was totally drunk uh -huh. and I don't really know what's ha happened. And uh, she just sent me an email about, oh, I want to invite you to uh, join this um, program. Uh -huh. I was like, oh, okay, yeah. Sure, and uh, so we keep talking about yeah. the, um, what's uh, her intention and the, what I gonna gon gonna uh, do in the um, the walk up, uh, walking pro project. Uh -huh. So um, yeah, and I come up with the idea about um, imitating mouse first the PR <gasps> campaign, and uh, that's a story uh, every kid learn from elementary school in the text. I mean, in mm -hmm. the in the from the school, and um, it's about Mao um, standing in the chaotic, the most chaotic street of Changsha, and uh, practice concentration and uh, reading the books on the street. So I was like, oh my god, okay, so practice, okay, it's it's cool. So yeah. I was thinking um, because when I arrive, I have I have been in New York City like five times, uh -huh. and uh, every time I I I will pass by the Times Square yeah. and I see a lot of people that taking pictures they look at their phones uh -huh. really concentrated so they don't need to practice so I was like oh my god the um, the phone is like a the black hole always yeah. attract your attention to that there's nothing no, yeah yeah it, exactly so 
I was like, okay, I will use that and I will imitate the um, mouse pose, but mm -hmm. I will change because I want to challenge the, the audience. So yeah. audience, so I will, uh, I gave a, a like five sentence like instruction to the audience, uh -huh. and they kind of have the idea what Ming gonna do, but they don't really what I gonna do. So I will do it, and they will copy my pose and look to the phone. And at the end of performance, I disappeared, certainly. Wow. I, I just um, went to a taxi and then <laughs> left. And the people were like, oh, do I need to follow? Like, oh, and I just, ah, and then, <laughs> yeah, that's the end. So I, yeah, it's, uh, it's, that was a really, really good experience with a really educated <laughs> audience. <laughs> they were really people excited though? Like, did they join you? They, like, they how, joined, yeah. yeah they, they were like, because I was doing like pose and uh -huh. they looked to, the, to, to my phone and they just, just like do, doing that with me. Like on the street, like 35, like, 40, yeah, almost 40 oh people God. on the street. And I was like, just face the, the garbage and mm -hmm. then just like looking to my phone. And I didn't check in any, any message. And I would I, I just look into the black screen. <laughs> and the people were like, oh my God, oh my God, what is she doing? And I, I, I just walk and, you know, and I feel like that moment I'm the leader of that group. Yeah. And then they just follow me, imitating me. It does make you yeah. think a lot about yeah, yeah, yeah. a lot of things that you do, you know, yeah, while that's, you're in That's really phone. interesting. So I was like, okay, that's, that's yeah. really... What else is there that you can let me know about the future? Just the mystery project yeah, yeah. or anything that I can actually look out for that you'll be doing soon? Um, so definitely I will have a, um, I will curate, um, do all the stuff by myself mm -hmm. and I will have a, a solo exhibition or performance in my hometown. And also I will um, um, do something with uh, um, different artists, collaborative, okay. and uh, also next year I will um, come back to New York and I will have a, a per performance in here as well. So it's uh, um, ongoing and I want to really um, kind of analyze and uh, explore what I'm really passionate about and why I'm passionate about this.